What's something your employer did that instantly killed employee morale? I work in a big corporate building. The same older lady came by everyone's desk towards the end of the day to collect the trash. Just the sweetest lady ever and every time she'd walk to my desk she'd give me a big smile and ask me how my day was and chat for a minute as she got my trash. Usually I dump it in for her. I had some rough days but she has a way to cheer me up and send me home on a higher note. I know I'm not the only one either. So then a few weeks back our work implemented a new policy to cut down on trash usage. It's no longer allowed to have a trash bin at our desk and we have to walk across the room and use the community trash to throw anything away. Not a huge deal but the real reason they did it is so they can cut down on cost, i.e. the cleaning crew. Sad to say that I haven't seen Sharon since. This is heartbreaking. Where I work replaced the Eastern European cleaning crew. My shift was mostly Ukrainian and Russian, with a crew that'll do it for less. Now things are filthy. Things are broken constantly, and they've hired mentally handicapped folks and felons to clean. Since then cars have been broken into, maintenance is at an all time low, and the pleasant interactions with the former crew have been replaced by side by watching these schmucks to be sure they're not the one actively breaking into employee vehicles. Boss pitched a sales incentive trip to Cancun if the team hit the goal. My team exceeded the goal. And then they cancelled the trip two people quit, I accepted a position with their main competitor, and less than a year later, they closed in bankruptcy. Karmasa Beach. A co-worker of mine won employee of the year and was given a free cruise. He won the prize by never saying no to the owner, which he continued and missed the cruise deadline. He still works there. We're moving manufacturing overseas, UHH. All we do at this facility is manufacturing. Yep, never seen a less productive or less motivated workforce. And it was announced over a year before the move too. Would have been better for the company to just spring it on people with two weeks. Although props to them for giving people a chance to find new work ahead of time. Electrical contractor of 35, 27 of which are out in the field. We earn PTO hours based upon the number of hours worked in a given week. Full-time employees earn what is equal to about 6 extra paid days off in a year, which is typically used for errands, sick days, taking care of children and so on. One of the field employees is a known, to all other field techs, alcoholic, word makes it to office personnel that this individual was using his PTO because he had tipped too many back the night before and couldn't make it to work on time. Owner denied his PTO claim and he drove into the office to have a shouting match with the owner very next day a company-wide email is sent stating that PTO will be indefinitely suspended because it is being abused. Not even sure if what they did is legal. But instead of dealing with this one employee, they decided to use it as a way to save paying out around 180 earned days off throughout the entire company. This happened about a week ago. Morale dropped instantly. Most field techs started showing up late playing around on their phones and leaving early. Couple guys have already jumped ship and sounds like a large number of others are about to follow. I'm going to wait it out a couple months as I mowed a yeti cooler and vacation time on my anniversary. This school wanted to switch to Chroma books. So what did they do? One summer while teachers weren't working, they removed every single Windows station and replaced them with Chroma books to be issued to teachers. They were told to figure it out. When teachers came up and asked how they could teach Photoshop, programming, AutoCAD 3D modeling, etc. Admin basically googled their program name plus Chroma book extension and told them see. There's an extension for it and it works I don't think I have to add that it did not work. They ended up bringing back the desktops for most teachers. I did tech for a school. I have no idea how incompetent you have to be to think you can do Photoshop or AutoCAD on a Chroma book. I would bet Myra did account that none of them use Chroma books in their off time. If an experienced teacher has saved curricula on those hard drives and someone throws them out unannounced, backed up or not, somebody's gonna die. You're throwing away a person's life work. Edit, we all know people who did not grow up computer literate, or who avoid computer usage whenever possible. My point that is being missed is, backups or not, if someone comes into your daily office and replaces your computer without warning, you're gonna have a beef. Small business 20 employees plus dart. 
boss made a big speech about austerity measures and no raises this year. A week and a half later he drives up in a brand new Silverado with all the bells and whistles. Expense to the business of course. He would hate to have to pay taxes on those profits. One of the less subtle members of the staff took a literal poo in front of his office door. He should have done it in the car's AC system. Mine did the exact same thing. But with a KD Escalade. He officially had two now. And a BMW for his wife. All expense to the company. In Virginia. Where there are property taxes on your vehicles. Unless they were used for business purposes. After cutting off sick days, and constant cost cutting like cancelling business phone plans, switching janitorial services, leasing the cubicle office to another company forcing people to work from home and report to meetings every day regardless. For a KD. Put up a poster that said complaining is like vomiting. You feel better but everyone around you feels sick. The moral was already bad but it was just a terrible way to take a hit at upset employees rather than do anything positive. Complaining is like vomiting. Something caused it to happen, and it's best to figure out why and change it so it doesn't happen again. Telling employees that they are going to fire you if you don't make more sales. Then when someone quits tell them no that was just motivation. We were never going to fire you. I was one of a large number of programmers working on a project at CSC. We had a deadline coming up in a couple months and they over promised to the client and then asked us all to work extra hard to meet the deadline, and asked us to work 50 plus hour weeks. Which we did and then some, some of us put in 70-80 hour weeks to meet this deadline. But once that deadline was met, suddenly there was another deadline they needed to meet. And another. People got tired had lives to lead, and scaled back on their hours. Most of us were still working 50-60 hours a week, but not a lot more than that. Once they realized we weren't killing ourselves on their project any longer, there was an all-hands meeting where the managers told us that they were incredibly disappointed in our lack of professionalism because so comparatively few employees were now working more than 50 hours a week. One of our harder workers stood up and said, Look, I have three kids. I'm driving an hour into and out of work every day, I'm taking care of my family, I'm trying to get presents for Christmas, write out Christmas cards, decorate and clean the house for everyone we're having over for the holidays I'm having a really hard time just getting to 50, and the manager looked at her and sneered, if it wasn't Christmas, it'd be because it's Easter, or Memorial Day, or because it's summer and it's nice out. You'll always have some excuse, there was dead silence in the room. When we left that meeting, we didn't talk to each other, but every single worker on that project put in exactly 50 hours a week after that. Then came Christmas raise and bonus time. Every worker on the project got a 1 stroke 2% raise, the managers got a 5 figure bonus. We were pissed. For management, the pain came after Christmas. First week of the year, 4 programmers had better jobs lined up and quit. 3 more the following week. 5 the next. We himahaged 3-5 programmers every single week for over 3 months. It got to the point where the managers had to schedule a meeting every Monday at 11 to discuss that week's resignations and rearrange the surviving staff. Like you guys are at war and discussing how many naval vessels have been lost. Hello fellow tortured soul from CSC. I was one of the unfortunate people who worked at the benefits call center. I was there for 3 years out of pure necessity after being laid off from my job as a JR size admin. During those 3 years was essentially trained to work all the call queues with no extra pay. We were told every year that there was a pay freeze so no pay adjustment if any kind would be made. At the same time, the main floor manager who was an incompetent buffoon who literally knew nothing and was such a moron that he could not even hop on the phone to help during spikes in call volume received a 6 figure attention performance bonus, every, year, after the company split I ended up in the CSRA side doing everything I was doing before plus accounts payable work. No increase. Nice. I lost track of how many times I contemplated taking off my seat belt and plowing into the back of a 16 wheeler at 80 plus mph on my way to work. After asking for a raise and essentially being told to be happy I have a job and shut up. I started teaching myself front end web technologies and took a front end boot camp course. I was essentially working 100 plus hr weeks between work, 
school, and trenching myself stuff I found interesting in the web space. I was able to leave a few months later and I have never been happier. The real kicker, when I started my new job I started as an intern. I was making more money working one stroke fives as hard and with 90% less responsibilities, as a front end intern. Like and subscribe for more daily reddit videos.